This time on Low Boost, we put our recently refreshed and repainted Honda GX160 engine on a mini bike and ride it. All right, to catch you guys up to speed, I got this Honda GX160 for free, basically. Took it apart, repainted it, redid a bunch of stuff on it to get it ready to put on a mini bike, and then got it running. Slapped it on this awesome Arco mini bike, and now we're going to get this thing driving and moving. Test fitting it up for the first time. Everything fits pretty good. I like it. Definitely got to do something about the rear tire though. The sprocket's not the right size and I have no way of fitting a brake caliper on that. So that's going to get changed. I also got a hydraulic brake cable. It's just hanging there. Cause I'm going to, once I get a new wheel, I got a new wheel with it. That, that's perfect with the sprocket on one side and a rotor on the other. Uh, that way I could actually run that disc brake, but I don't want to mount the disc brake until I have the wheel. I ordered the wheel from Go Power Sports. They're great because uh, they helped me customize it. But I got the brake cable and the whole assembly from Amazon. I haven't actually put it up yet because I'm going to take everything apart and, and paint the actual frame itself. But this is a hydraulic disc brake. It was super cheap and it should work really well. Um, and I got it on Amazon. It even has a spot for a brake light if I even wanted to add that at some point too. So it's a pretty cool setup. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I love the fact that the yellow matches the yellow. This is the tire setup I got from Go Power Sports. 14 inch knobby tire with a 54 tooth sprocket. And on the opposite side, I have a disc rotor, uh, which is gonna be perfect for that caliper. I just have to cut the studs down and get some spacers to fit it in there, but that's gonna work perfectly with that gearing and 3,600 RPM, it should do 30 miles per hour. Hey! All right, all right. These old frames never had calipers. They had scrub brakes. So I'm gonna have to fabricate a bracket to hold this uh, caliper. And that's the first one there. And I wanna make sure I clear everything. And I'm also gonna put one there. So that's kind of what it looks like now with both of them on and clamped down. And I shaved it off, uh, the paint off, that way I can get a good spot and weld it. It's not gonna look great because I'm not a great welder, but it's gonna hold perfectly. And I also might have to shave down some of the caliper as well because it just kind of rubs on the tire, which isn't gonna affect any structural integrity. It'll just make it clear. Here's what it looks like with the caliper shaved down. I definitely have enough clearance. It's close, it doesn't rub, and it's not gonna touch, so that's gonna be perfect. Now I just have to make sure I weld everything down and then we'll take it from there. I also went to the hardware store to get some 5 8 spacers to put on either side. That way it fills out the rest of the frame and let's weld this thing up. I'll put links in the description below to all these parts that I'm putting on this because I'm not sponsored by anybody in particular and there's tons of places you can get it. But if you buy this stuff through the links in the description, uh, it helps the channel out. So thank you guys for supporting us. So after some booger booger welds. Got some brake fluid on there because I was moving it around, but a couple welds here, a couple welds here. The bracket is on. That's just not going anywhere. It stops on a dime too. So this Amazon brake caliper, sick. The only thing I had to do was I shaved this down with a flat disc and I got very minimal clearance there, but it's enough. Uh, makes it go, won't rub. So that actually worked out pretty good. $30 Amazon brake caliper. Next, I got to do the throttle cable. So I got to get some new, new pieces here and uh, the twist throttle will be ready to go. And then unfortunately I'm taking the whole thing apart because I want to paint this now that I grinded it up and everything. I want to paint it. I got a new tire for the front and then she'll be ready to rip. So I'm really happy the way the bike came out. Got to do some other stuff to it. I'm going to tear the whole thing down. I got this new knobby tire to put on the front of it. 
It's gonna be great when it's all done. I wanna do a couple of different things, like even uh, put a key on it. That way, uh, if I go somewhere, no one can just fire it up and drive off with it because that can happen with this. So if I, I'll, I'll do a separate video on that. I'm gonna tear the whole thing down and paint it and uh, kind of show you guys my process on that too. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you don't already subscribe. And uh, honestly, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, because that tells YouTube that other people should watch this video, and I don't think they do that to my videos that often. Could be just, just be me. Thank you guys very much for watching. In the meantime, check these videos that I already have ready to go.